Um, my grandmother, I was actually with her two days ago. She had her 77th birthday party, and she actually gave me a mission. She wanted me to go and see Mr. Jefferson and give her money for him. So that's exactly what we're going to go into. me is that again I've said this before in other videos that Mr. Jefferson and other people like him have to live in squalor just like actually my my second wife here in Cuba she also lived in certified squalor um, meanwhile there are people who are living in great situations and in the Kyle Hueso neighborhood of La Havana most people aren't doing so great let's go pull up on Mr. Jefferson Ven aquí viejo. <laughs> mi abuela, uh, mi abuela manda dinero para ti. Mi abuela. Ay, tina, tina, tina. Yo tengo un problema muy malo ahora. Like many other residents in Cajueso, his pipes are dry. Cuban infrastructure is old and unfortunately falling apart. Es difícil, es muy difícil. Transportation, yeah. Transportation, yeah. Trans, no hay, no hay petróleo. Petróleo, sí, si, no problema. Hay pieza. Si. No hay nada. For older residents like Mr. Jefferson, living on a measly government pension is impossible given the state of rapid inflation within Cuban currency. In addition, he needs something called metronidazole. It's essentially a parasite killer. For six months, he hasn't been able to get it here in Cuba. A lot of items in Cuba are only available through the black market. And that includes medicine. Ah. <laughs> there isn't a trip to Mr. Jefferson's house without another damn song. Here we go. <laughs> Hermano. Me, me, me like Japan. Japan. Una cerveza fría. No, está congelada. Y malta también. Ya, ya no. No, y una pieza de chocolate. De oro. Ah, I see. When you hear people say that Cuba is getting worse, if you're hanging out in Old Havana, if you're going to Fabrica de Arte, you wouldn't recognize it, right? Everything is the same, but for the people who are, you know, at the bottom of society, if you will, socioeconomically, they are suffering. And that's exactly what that was. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you, it's starting to get a little bit harder to do these types of videos, but, um, it's the reality of Cuba. A lot of us gringos, or Yumas, come down to Cuba and never get a sense of what real life is like for Cubans. And just a seven-minute walk away from my buddy's house, 
I can eat and drink away my sorrows for the low cost of three dollars. I swear, Cuba is not a real place. What's that up? This operation help up Mr. Jefferson is commencing right now. Nice piece of bread from this. And on the way to Mr. Jefferson's house, one of my little Cuban ex's mother spots me in the street, tries to get me to come to the house. I'm not going, leave me alone. So I just found a little store that has a lot here. My boy Mr. Jefferson has me looking like a bag man in Cuba. Got bread, milk, chorizo. Chorizo is like sausage. And I bought oil for him to cook the chorizo. If he doesn't have fire, I actually have matches in the body of my bag. So let's hook up our boy. He has money from yesterday from me. Um, so if he wants to buy vegetables and stuff like that, he can buy it. Also, um, I also have a hot sandwich uh, with chicken for him. Hot chicken sandwich. And uh, yesterday I saw him, he was looking ultra skinny, more skinny than he normally looks. So, um, you know, I had problems with that. So I had to make sure I took care of him. Really, it cost nothing out of my pocket, literally nothing. So I have to make sure that I said I'm I'm good enough. Let's go surprise this old ass. Tengo cosas para ti. Una foto. Eh, sí, una foto. Dice hola para mis amigos en Estados Unidos. Mr. Jefferson told me about all you guys who have seen him on this channel and have come and offered him help in the forms of items or monetary support. I really appreciate it. Papi. Mira, mira aquí, mira, mira, mira. Tengo, tengo un sándwich para ti. Un sándwich calor de pollo. Ok, come, come ahora, por favor. Ok, tengo, tengo pan. Pan para ti, ok. Mira, mira, mira. Ah, un, un otro. tanto dinero, Sí, papi, otro tipo de pan. Otro tipo, ok. Yeah. Agua. No. No. Refresco. Sí. Aceite. Aceite. No gaste tanto dinero. ¿Ah? No gaste tanto dinero. No, no, dinero. No, esto es gratis. It's gratis. No, papi, papi, no, 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 no. <laughs> Mira. Leche. Milk in Cuba is not as common as it should be. I'm certain that it's been a while since Mr. Jefferson has had a bit of milk. Leche. Mira, otro leche. ¿Tú estás loco? Es claro. Te voy a enseñar una cosa. Papi, 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 ven. 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 Y el final. Chorizo. Chorizo. Salchicha, chorizo. Ta. And that last piece gave him an instant flashback to when Cuba was a capitalist country and Spanish chorizo was available in the markets. No, 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 no puedo, no puedo. ¿Por qué no puedo a Estados Unidos con esto? No tiene problema, no. No, no, eso no puede. To express his appreciation, Mr. Jefferson wants to give me his guitar. However, given baggage requirements, I can't take it back to the States. But we're going to make a few pit stops before we go back to the States. Sí, claro que sí. Mira. Y voy, voy a buscar la mechonada sol para ti, ¿ok? 
¿Tú tienes el papel? ¿De qué? De mencionar eso. ¿Papel? La medicina. Tú necesitas. ¿Tú tienes este? Metronidazol. Sí, sí, sí. Espérate. Necesito un foto de eso. You know, I'm thoroughly convinced that giving back here in Cuba does more for me than it does for the people here. I'm 100% convinced of that. It gives you a sense of purpose, you know what I mean? You know, God gave us one life to make a difference in the world and I'm committed to doing that. So I wasn't able to procure the necessary medication in the United States. So instead, I went to the biggest cartel town in Mexico. Something that I find absolutely maddening is the fact that, you see, I was able to find these from my boy for a dollar and a half. Meanwhile, for the last six months in Cuba, couldn't get them. It's a damn shame. Oye, hace tantos años que yo vengo subiendo esta loma. Qué agradecida estoy. Este es doble en fuerza que tú necesitas. So, córtalo. ¿Hay que cortarla? Sí, córtalo en el medio. No, una sola, no. No, no. ¿Aquí? Sí, yo sé. Ay, no, tú no sabes. And in addition to the medication, I brought him something that he's been looking for for a little while, but of course he can't afford. Yeah. So now... Now he's going to terrorize the hell out of his neighbors <laughs> all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one and the next one. Peace out.